Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Geeta. Today we'll be solving a question from MBA 2004 question paper. Pipe A can fill a tank in 10 hours. Pipe B can fill the same tank in 15 hours. Pipe C can empty the full tank in 20 hours. Pipes A, B and C are opened alternatively for 1 hour each. If A is open first, then how many hours will they take to fill the empty tank? So from the first sentence, pipe A can fill a tank in 10 hours. So which is pipe A can fill one tenth of a tank in one hour. So when it is filling, it is positive. And from the second sentence, pipe B can fill the same tank in 15 hours. So pipe B can fill positive since it is filling one fifteenth of a tank in one hour. Next sentence, pipe C can empty the full tank in 20 hours. So which is, so empty it is minus one in one hour it can empty one twentieth of a tank in one hour. So in total three hours the amount of tank can be filled as one by ten plus one by fifteen minus one by twenty. So the LCM for ten, fifteen and twenty is sixty. So ten times six is sixty. So six times one is six plus fifteen times 4 is 60 and 4 times 1 is 4. 4 minus 20 times 3 is 60. So 3 times 1 is 3. So 6 plus 4 is 10 minus 3 is 7 by 60. So in 3 hours, 7 parts out of total 60 parts of a tank can be filled. So to find the time taken by the pipes to fill the entire tank. So we have to understand the concept here which is, so if this is a tank and it has like 60 parts, 3 hours is taken to fill 7 parts which means closest to 60 is 56 parts. 7 times 8 is 56. So 56 parts of the tank out of 60 parts can be filled in 8 because 7 times 8 is 56 which is closest to 60. So, so 56 parts can be filled in 8 times. So it's like 3 hours times 8 which is equals 24 hours. 56 parts can be filled in 24 hours. So the remaining, so total out of 60 parts, 56 parts is filled which means the remaining 4 parts out of 60 parts has to be filled. Since A is opened first and A takes like 10 hours to fill the tank, so this part 4 out of 60 part with pipe A can be filled in 4 by 6 hours which is equals 2 by 3 hours. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 by 3 hours. So the total time taken would be 24 hours and 2 by 3 hours. So it's 24 and 2 by 3 hours. Hours taken to fill the empty tankers 24 2 by 3 hours. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments.